What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got to Paniola Ranch, Palio Paniola Town, and we did quite a few things, you know, trained our, our Pokemon and all that stuff. So now, uh, I'm gonna be exploring just a little bit of the town, see if we can actually find some stuff. I don't know, probably, I don't know. So, let's see, the first, it looks like an old western right here, and we're just gonna be going in here. This right here is what you might call it, the Crow's Kiawi's house. It's Kiawi's house, and well, if you talk to this one, oh, Magmar does the burn up about anything. It's a real champ when it comes to controlling its flames, but sometimes you just want to eat something that's not charred to crisp, right? Hmm. It's a odd way of saying things right here. And I got to sneeze. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let's see. There's really uh, well. Let's see, the importance of this place right here, I don't really know. I'm just checking out for, you know, items and all that stuff. And this actually goes into the next room, and you will find nothing. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just exploring. Whoa, how many Magmars do you have? Holy crud, you know this place. And, uh, well, let's see, Magmar pull a nice, toasty quick ball from, uh, well, somewhere. Uh-oh. And we got ourselves a quick ball definitely nice to have and let's see this guy doesn't have anything talk to this guy from okay so got a boatload of magmars right here which is great and well I think it's time for us to just move on right here because there really isn't a lot that you actually can find right here except just you know a town filled with a bunch of uh, nothing and well let's see I think there is an item close by right here yeah there's a revive and let's see, talk to this guy. Oh, look at the rock roof of yours. It weighs less than 110 pounds. Then it shouldn't take too much damage even if it get, if it's hit with a move like Grass Knot. It's how it's great how you can check the weight of your Pokemon and info like that in your Pokedex. Hmm, so true. You can actually capture Pokemon right here. Uh, Barboach and, you know, Magikarp come to mind. And here we found ourselves a fresh water. Okay, so let's see. There really isn't anything else that you can actually find right here except in the back. Back area. Actually, we can go right here. Hold on. Right here. Hold on. There's something right here. Let's see. There is something right here that will actually get us to the back side right here. No. There's actually something right here. Hold on. Nope. There's nothing right there. Let's see. Maybe something. I don't know. Oh, you have to go to the other route. Never mind. Okay, so let's go to Paniola Ranch right here and see what that whole place is all about. Of course, it's indicating to us that's where that is the next area that we have to go to. So here we have Paniola Ranch, and you'll actually find some pretty interesting Pokemon like you know Miltank and Tauros. And if you talk to this lady, she will indeed want to battle you. So be ready for all that right there, guys. Okay, so here we go, going up against uh, Madam Elizabeth, wanting to battle us, and well, here we go, Carbine coming out, and that right there looks like a Pokemon for not Terra Rough, but somebody else, like Joker. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's see, let's go with Joker. Okay, Joker. Joker right here, looking uh, like Joker himself. And here comes a sharpened attack. And holy crud, right there it will, uh, you know, it will increase its attack right there. So let's go straight for an Aqua Jet for the win. And oh my god, Carbink has a, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's continuing to sharpen right here. Yeah, we got one more before this guy really hits us hard. So let's go straight for a Water Gun attack right here. And Water Gun nearly does the trick and here comes a rock throw and this one will hit us pretty hard right there so let's go one more time with the water gun attack and here comes the quick claw and what the hell oh yeah she's killing her pokemon okay so a lot of these alolan pokemon trainers are just like you know very they smartened up to me and carbink getting that hit here we go again with water gun 
Alrighty, here we go. Water gun again, and there goes Carbink. Defeated. Okay. Alright. And Terra Ruff grows to level 14, and everybody else too, including Puka. And Madam Elizabeth has been defeated. More monies for us. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and explore this whole place right here. As you can see, there's a rancher right here, and he's like, Oh, you've got uh, to be a trial goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on! Okay, at least he doesn't talk like a Texan or something like that. And, let's see, what do you have to say for yourself? And, oh, look at that, it's a mill tank. Our worst nightmare. And, uh, well, would you look at that? Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from P Peniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy uh, when you use it in white sauce and other things. Mm, the taste can't even be described. Oh, well. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. And, well, she will be giving us a Stoutlin from Scotland, a ride pager. And see, Stellan can sniff out things from uh, for you that uh, are buried in the dirt that you can't even see them. When you're high, or when you're riding a Stoutland from Scotland, pressing the uh, B button to use the Stoutland from Scotland search is what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff laying around and waiting for you to find it. If you go all the way down to Route Five, you'll come out. Uh, Cal, come out on Brooklyn Hill, Bro Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there. So say hi to her for uh, for me uh, when you see her. Okay, so we got a Stoutland from Scotland again. All right. Uh oh. Crap baskets. Crap baskets. Come on. Okay, here we are. We really, really need to stabilize that thing. So here we are, Stoutland from Scotland. Let's go ahead and use them. And look at that. It runs around, and if you press the B button, it notices something right there. Look at that. It's sniffing around, and there it is. Right there, you'll be finding yourself a Moo Moo Milk as an example of what you can actually find with, with Stoutland from Scotland. Now, there is another thing right here, and it's somewhere around here. Look at that. Okay, so hold on. Not the not the moo moos. And there we go. We found ourselves a fresh batch of water. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and look for some other stuff right here. Maybe there's some stuff in this hay bale right here. And there we go. And we found ourselves a repel. Which is always nice. And I'm getting a text message right now, so be right back with you guys. Alright, so we're back right here, and well, I'm just getting text message from everybody, which is annoying when you're trying to do some videos right here. So let's get the heck off of Stoutland from Scotland and uh, move on. And well, let's see, what else can you find around here? You're going to be finding a lot of, uh, well, I would say grass, but I kind of feel like it's hay or something, I don't know, what would you call it? And we found ourselves another Zygarde cube right here. Now again... What I'm trying to say right here, guys, is that Zygarde cubes can actually be found through the day and night. So you cannot always find these guys. And well, you are going to be a you're going to be attacked by these Pokemon here too. And right now we're getting attacked by a Lillipup. Maybe I should bring him back. You know, Ace, good old Ace, or maybe not. I don't know. But we will be capturing some Pokemon off screen just to, you know, fill up that Pokedex. And uh, well, maybe just maybe. Uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, hold on, there's something right here, there it is. Maybe, just maybe, uh, coming out with some new teams, since we probably do have the ability to do that right here. Okay, so here we are, are you raising Pokemon? Yes, I am. Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon battle, look at this guy, looking like Hulk Hogan's, uh, rancher buddy. Rancher or Breeder Glenn wanting to battle right here, and well, thankfully he only has one Pokemon, and that is Mudbray, the ground type Pokemon. Now, did I mention that I actually captured a shiny version of it right here back in Pokemon Sun? I think I did. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Joker, 
And let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, do our thing. Beat up everybody. Be invincible and all that stuff. And here comes a bulldoze attack. That would have definitely defeated my uh, terror rough right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use an aqua jet since now our speed has been lowered. So look at this. Aqua jet does its trick. Half its HP is gone. And here comes a mud sport attack. And, well, let's go right ahead and do it one more time with an aqua jet. And there we go. Quick claw is saving us. And there we go. Mudbray has been defeated. And, well, look at that. Toxic Batman grows to level 16 and everybody else is having fun. Okay, so there that's another that's another victory for us right there. So let us move on to the next area right here. Now there will be there will be a uh, what you call it a a Cyguard cube right around here at night. Um, that's something that I've been mentioning early on, guys. That you will be getting some Zygarde cubes going in in day and night. So just be aware where you're gonna actually find them. And it looks like to me there will be one right here. I think. No, actually, let's see, hold on. There's an item right here. And there it is. Okay, so we found ourselves a super repel. And let's see, what else? We've already defeated that guy. Let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find right here. There, oh, look at that. There are pseudo Wudos right here. And what can we find? Nothing else. We're going to be finding another Pokemon. Let's see what we can find. Found ourselves a Lillipup. Yes, we will be capturing these Pokemon. Probably later on. I don't even know. And, well, let's see. Let's just get the heck out of here. Let's see. Alrighty. So... Hmm. Oh, wow. We're getting attacked again. There is an item close by right here, guys. I kind of need to sniff it out, though. And here comes another Mudbray. Now, Pokemon you can actually find around here. Lillipup, Miltank, Mudbray, and Tauros. Of course, Miltank and Tauros are the two rarest Pokemon around here. So if you guys want to look for those guys, that is going to be a mission for you. And, well, let's see. There is something right here. Where are you? Where are you? Nope, not right there. Okay, so god dang it. We have to go inside that area. Okay, I didn't even see it. Okay, so here we go, another Lillipup. And another awesome Lillipup ready to attack us and well let's see. We gotta we gotta escape. We have to because it's a must. It really is. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move around and well as you can see right here guys, we are we've just uh, encountered the nursery lady right here. This is basically the Pokemon daycare for Alola. I can help take care of Pokemon trainers like you. Lately, for some reason, I see some Pokemon holding eggs. It's mysterious, isn't it? If you want us to take care of your Pokemon, please speak to my sister inside the building. Okay, so let's see. We gotta take, gotta get out of uh, Stoutland from Scotland. We gotta get grab an item right here. Look at that. We found ourselves an Oval Stone. It can actually help a Pokemon evolved. And well, let's go right inside right here. And let's see what she has to say. I heard the other regions have these Pokemon daycare places. Apparently you can leave Pokemon there and they'll raise your Pokemon for you. We've got nurseries here in Alola, but all we can do or all we do is hold on to your Pokemon for you. We don't help them get stronger or learn any moves, but I'll guess it's easier on your wallet. Oh, and there's something else. If you leave two Pokemon together at the nursery, you sometimes end up finding an egg. Since we're talking about it, do you want uh, one of our one of the eggs I found in the nursery recently? Yes. And we got ourselves an egg. I do not know what Pokemon could be in there. Let's see. Let's add to the party. And let's put it in uh, Terra Ruff's place. Because right now, Terra Ruff is not really cutting it. Doesn't learn any new moves. But I kind of want to see what this egg's all about. And, well, let's see. Kraken uh, is ready to hatch. If uh, you carry a Pokemon egg around you, with uh, it will hatch with the Pokemon. I feel it must be happy surrounded by your team even though it's born. Before it's bar born. Now, a great trick to actually hatch a an egg is if you have a Pokemon, a Fire-type Pokemon with Fire... I think Fire Armor, I think? Com comment down below, guys. I, you know, it's been, it's been quite some time, but look at this. The egg watch. What Pokemon will hatch from this egg? It, you know, we will not. We will never know. We'll, we're gonna have to find out sooner rather than later. So, let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's see. 
Let's put dump truck in the front. We need dump truck. That's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. There are quite a few things that we can actually do. We could actually go to Route 5 up in the north, or we can go to Route 6. Let's see. What does it say right here? Okay. So we can go to Brooklet Hill up, up north or the Royal Avenue. Now, this, let's see. I will find, like, this I will leave uh, for the next episode, guys, because each has its challenges ahead. And then from there, we'll, we'll end up finding out, like, you know, what the challenges are. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.